All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Curse of Strahd, episode two. Uh, thanks for joining in. I'm Jacob Cordero, your dungeon master for today. Uh, in front of you, we've got uh, my wife, Lily Cordero, playing Theoden Eldress. Uh, next to her, her best friend Alex, playing Aridin Eldress. Uh, below, we've got Brandon C. Sharp playing Pharaoh. And last but not least, we've got Bobby Barrett playing Koros Ravenrock. Uh, Nicole Sharp will be joining us in a bit. She's running a bit late, uh, but she plays Irina. And uh, Ben is not able to make it tonight. He plays Emeril. So, with that, when we last left our party, they had found themselves in the plain of Barovia, where uh, there's fog all the time, and it's dark and night and stuff like that. It's super spoopy. Hold on, I'm maxing out my mic. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. There we go. Uh, we'll cut there, because I talk loud. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Uh, and when they arrived in the village of Barovia, uh, they met with Ismark, the son of the Burgomaster, who implored the party to help help him uh, get his sister away from the town of Barovia and out of the reach of Strahd. Because for the past several nights, Strahd has been sending minions, wolves, and bats, and other sorts of things um, to try and get to Irina. Uh, last, the night previous, uh, Irina and Ismark's father, the Burgomaster, uh, Burgomaster is just a fancy word for mayor, uh, died. His heart gave out. And so the party helped uh, move the Burgomaster out to the cemetery and bury him. And then they set off for Valakai. Along your way to Valakai, you ran into a couple lumberjack looking dudes who turned out to be werewolves, and uh, you got in a fight. Um, and something important happened, and that is that Pharaoh got bit pretty bad. Hold on, guys. We're having a slight issue. Your audio is not coming through. Give me one second. <laughs> there we go. Now it's coming through. It's all right, because you haven't said very much. I've done most of the talking. What's Otto's real name again? Ismark. Ismark. Like Otto von Ismark. But I just call him Otto, because... Is, Ismark's here, right? And he's, is he, like, recovered from his freak yeah, out? Yeah, he's freaking out. And you see, he's, he's, he's looking at Irina, and he looks really confused, um, but he's not saying anything right now. Did she do something Did remarkable in the fight? She did summon lightning. Oh, like yeah. You. She said a prayer out loud. She said uh, something like, Morning, Lord, I hope this works. And then <sighs> lightning yeah. cracked down on that one of like the... That sounds like a pharaoh smell. <laughs> it do. It do. Um, Ismark, I don't know anything about werewolves. Is, like, is it contagious? Can, is pharaoh going to... Is there anything I can we can do? For him? Wait, did, so he, did he get did he get bit? No, no, he did not. It's just a hypothetical question. In case we find other werewolves. Oh, good. I, if he got bit, we'd probably have to kill him right now before he turned into one. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> also, I'm really mad at Ismark because he got in my way in the fight, and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> if you're not you already broke his nose. Be fair, you broke his nose. <laughs> yeah, so he was in my fucking way. His face, like his whole mouth, and a bunch of his shirt, just covered in blood. Just Dude, I just stomp over to him and I'm like, next time, get out of the way. And I'm like, I'm not gonna talk to him. Toss him a rag to tie around his face. Or, or we could use healing magic. Is no, anybody else he doesn't hurt? deserve I our think... magic. No. I mean, I'm not gonna punch him in the face, but I'm, I am out of him. I, I think I deserve some of our healing magic. Do any of you? I feel like I feel good, but I don't actually remember. Yeah. I feel like I think I'm okay. I'm pretty good. I feel fine. I feel fine. Well, mm, I, I guess I could set the nose at least. Don't need them attracting more of these things. Is that how they work? Can they smell? They're, they're, they're wolves. I, I bet they can smell. Um, 
Nobody howl. When we decide to keep, like, moving on or whatever, so, like, if Aridin gives Ismark a uh, rag, like, to tie up his nose or whatever, like, I don't I don't know what Pharaoh might do, but I'm going to ask, like, Koros, like, quietly, like, do you know anything about werewolves? Like, what can we do for Pharaoh? Like, I'm really worried he's going to get sick. I don't know a thing about them. We should just keep an eye on him for now till we get somewhere that's not the woods. Okay. Um, can I ask Emeril if he knows anything about werewolves, also quietly? Uh, yeah, let me do a... Yeah, let me just roll on a sheet. Him. See if he, he must have read something. He, he must have. probably he has, has so... Read. Wizards, right? Bunch of nerds. Uh, but that's not a great roll. What did he get? He has like a flat, plus a bajillion. He rolled a six. Yeah, but he has plus like eight. He's probably got like plus five for his ant. I doubt it. So it's still he's just like an eleven. He's proficient in like arcane or something. Yeah, he's proficient. All right, right. fine. I'll actually pull up his sheet. Yeah. <laughs> Log in. Nobody ever told him it would be work. Look, you can just let me run him. I promise not to abuse the character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Guys, remember that time Emerald and Koros teamed up and killed us all? Koros needed them that <laughs> Oh, Bobby when they got all character. demony and like possessed, right? No, I'm saying when if Bobby takes over his character, that's what will happen. Wait, wait, wait! It was a time <laughs> when you and I kept, <laughs> teamed up and took everyone else on. That wasn't over my control. That actually happened. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! When you guys the Aboleth. That's what I said when the eyes were all glowy on Ben. Aboleth. Aboleth. <laughs> Abolet. <laughs> Is this the new The Shadow? The, the shadow? shadow? All right, where's his sheet? Here we go. You still don't have it? It took me a while, okay? Arcana's plus like eight. He rolled a six. Eight plus six is math. I said eight. Lily was correct. That was 14. amazing. Fourteen. That's so good. Oh, fine. That's yeah, he's, he says... Plus um, two based on Lily being correct. Yeah, this is, this is bad. Pharaoh, uh, we need to get you... Inside and restrained. Restrained before. No, no, no. He's before the moon quietly, comes out. He doesn't want Ismark to know. L last thing he's no, he's he's, he's uh, Emerald's being discreet. Yeah. Uh, he oh. says last night was a full moon, which means the effects could bleed over into tonight. I don't want to sleep with restraints. Can't you just post a guard? Better than I have an idea, dead. but you have to let me cast any spell I want on you. Tell me more about the restraints. <laughs> <laughs> he says it should be enough to just tie you down and lock you in a room in an inn. Uh, the room will be trashed, but we can deal with that later. But we need to fine. make haste to Valakai. Well, fine, that's fine. Better at least get me a nice bed. Um, so you guys hurry. You make haste the rest of the way to Valakai, and you arrive um, just as the sun is starting to set. See, so big, you know, orange sunset you're expecting, but you look and it's misty and cloudy. So there's like a bit of orange, and you can tell that the sun is there. That's um, about it. On the way, I like want to talk to Aridin and Koros. And basically it'd be like, um, you know, let's take rooms far from Irina and Ismark because I don't want them to know about Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And we can also help watch him. So like whatever, wherever we stay, if we can be like on two sides of the building. It's a good instinct. But... Also, does anybody have any spells that prevent sound from traveling? Yeah, probably Pharaoh. <laughs> He can cast spells before he goes psycho. Good, that's true. Um, if you say, hey, could you two new people go stay over there, they might get suspicious. Just no, let's just be the ones who do the booking and talk to the, the innkeeper. I like the, way, I like the way you think. Keep everyone distracted. I'll go set up the rooms when we get there. So you yeah, guys are, do that. I'm very distracted. You guys are approaching the gates of Alakai. Describe the scary, like yeah, the so, so the old oh, Salt Lake Road, which you guys are on, meanders into a valley watched over by dark, brooding mountains to the north and south. The, the woods recede, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog presses up against this wall, as though looking for a way inside, 
hoping to catch the town a slumber. The dirt road ends at a set of sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are a half dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled on them. Oh, good. Greetings, friends. Hail the town! Uh, and the, the guards look up and they, they say, Oh, you come by just in time. We're about to lock everything up. Quick, get inside. Will do. Very oh. grateful. Gladly. As we go in. And you guys head in. Just as you do, they, uh, they, you see they, they pull the gate shut and they wrap them with this big chain and this giant lock. Um, and then they close a second set of like wooden gates behind the iron gates and then put a big bar on those. You guys had a lot of unwanted visitors? And he gives you a look and he says, uh, you must not be from here. No. Nope. in town. Long ways off. Night is dark and full of terror. No, um. Valar <laughs> 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 Mogulis. He says, uh, <laughs> the devil straw does all he can to get into Valakai, but, uh, we'll keep you safe. And you can see the other guard is rolling his eyes. I look at them and I'm like, I feel so reassured. Thanks. I can't Good tell if the guard is hitting protection. on me. You guys need, like, a lawyer or something. Like, the feudal relationship here is not... The, 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 the lord is not supposed to sick monsters on his serfs. Like, <laughs> it's already a backward enough system of government when it works. What is wrong with you people? Word. They didn't pay their taxes. <laughs> and they're right. full of wolves. Uh, Could you direct us to a good inn? Yeah. You're going to want the blue water inn. You go... Straight down the road, it's on the right side, just past the main square. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Could you direct us to a bad inn? Shut up. <laughs> I'm, not eating, I'm not eating stale bread on account of your issue. Stale bread is still bread. Fair enough. But fresh bread is the best bread, so let's go to the good inn. That is true. Croutons okay. are pretty good. Ooh, croutons. So you guys head down the main road. Um, Let's see what you pass along the way. I forgot what N5 was. Did we pass a curio shop of any kind? Uh, yeah, actually. Sorry, a what shop? Like a curio shop or a place where I could maybe get potions. I don't know what or a curio a shop means silver weapons. I'm not as well read as you. Crap. Would you like some silver weapons, Theo? Oh, why don't we put all this on pause? I forgot we have to restrain Pharaoh. Let's restrain him because the sun's going down and then we'll go back out. We'll take we shifts. Yeah, you guys, you guys looking at Pharaoh, uh, you see his hair is noticeably a bit longer. Why, Pharaoh? What big bangs you have. Yeah, yeah we need I... to get you to the barber soon. Me too. Me, and yeah, absolutely. I like yeah. curry. Needed a haircut for months. <laughs> Jake really needs a haircut. I really, really need a haircut. Ugh. Oh, does Jake really need a haircut? Jake is that, really is that true? I think Brandon's winning. You didn't see Brandon on Space Mountain yesterday. <laughs> 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 it looks so good, right? Um, okay, cool. So, so you guys head past like the main square and the rest of town. Um, this town seems uh, still a bit dour compared to the towns that you guys have been to in the Forgotten Realms, um, but much less so than uh, the village of Barovia. You, you, there's definitely a lot more people around. Um, a lot less, you know, houses filled with rats, that sort of thing. That yeah. sort of thing. You guys, you guys didn't open any of the doors in, in the village of Barovia, but there's like a thing that says like, if they open a, a you know building that isn't one of the ones marked on the map, you know, roll on a d20 and see if it's a swarm of rats or a swarm of bats or a oh, man. <laughs> swarm of hats, right? Uh, and no, no, the table has a much smaller chance for swarm of rats in in Volokai. If anything happens, Thayden buys a swarm of hats. <laughs> Theo's closet is a swarm of hats. Uh, and you guys make your way to the Blue Water Inn. Gray smoke issues from the chimney of this large, two-story wooden building with a stone foundation and sagging tile roof, upon which several ravens have perched. A painted wooden sign hanging above the main entrance depicts a blue waterfall. This looks pretty nice. 
Come I've seen me. elven cities that were a lot worse than this. I gesture for Koros to go ahead, and then yeah, I yeah, I'll, I'll approach the I'll approach the innkeeper. Uh, I'll detain Ismark. And so how about yeah. we just get him a drink or something? Uh, damp cloaks hang from pegs in the entrance portico. The tavern is packed with tables and chairs, with narrow paths meandering between them. A bar stretches along one wall, under a balcony that can be reached by a wooden staircase that hugs the north wall. Another balcony overhangs an entrance to the east. All the windows are fitted with thick shutters and crossbars. Lanterns hanging above the bar and resting on the tables bathe the room in a dull orange light and cast shadows upon the walls, most of which are adorned with wolf heads mounted on wooden plaques. I was going to say mood lighting, but the wolf heads kind of kill it. Greetings, friend. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get... Your heart trophy is magnificent. And he says, oh, that's the, uh, the wolf hunters over there. And he points at these two, uh, I'll show you a picture of them. These two dudes. Wolf hunters, you say? Can you show it again? Oh, yep, sorry. I only looked for a sec. Sweet skins. Right? Yeah. Do they have any um, other duties other than wolf hunting? Oh, uh, well, I mean... Soldar and you, you, what the fuck is that name? Yevgeny. <laughs> it's a classic Russian name. What's wrong with you? Yevgeny. Uh, they yeah. they come in and out. They uh, they bring back prizes every once in a while. They, you know, it's nice to know they they help keep the town safe. That's good. Good good honest folk. I respect that. Listen, friend, we need four rooms. Four rooms. We need one of them to be very far away from the other ones. <laughs> Most of our rooms are communal here, friend. So uh, we've got we've got two rooms with two beds each, and one room with four beds in it. And some of them beds are taken. That's perfect. Well, that last part's not great. Do you have at least one empty room? <laughs> yes. We need that one. I can give you I can give you the the first room upstairs. It's got two beds in it. That's perfect. Okay. We'll take it. Um, and, then, and then, apart from that, enough beds in the communal rooms to fit out how many, what are we, seven people now? How did no, this party keep growing? We're six total, and we have the two, so we need four more. No, you're seven, because you've got Ismark with you. A few may have to, you know, bunk up. Yeah, but, but not you, my cleric friend. Not you. And he says, I... if, if you're willing to pay a bit extra, I can, uh, I can bump some other... <laughs> Some other folks. Well, I, don't, I don't want no trouble, um, but if you could do that quiet like, I would be appreciated. Money's not an object. Alright. I didn't say that until you need to say that. that. Is there another inn for them to go to? Yeah, there are plenty. They just don't really want to. Quiet, you damn do gooder. Walk that way. Uh, 20 gold Boom. pieces for the lot of you, and I'll. Give you the whole in. Pleasure, friend. Thank you. I appreciate you. Shut the f up. I appreciate your understanding, friend. Thank you very much. You just I'm just gonna steal it black back, you damn merchant. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, yeah, upstairs there's three rooms. Two of them have two beds, and one of them's got four beds. They're all yours. Perfect. I appreciate it. Another question. I'm curious about these wolf hunters. In my youth, misspent, wasted youth that it was, I knew a man that got in a little trouble with some dark magics, uh, but he was the son of the local count, and everything had to be kept hush-hush. Do your wolf hunters ever do anything like that? Rather than just cut the heads off, ever got to bring them back all tied up, quiet at night, not to piss off daddy? Not sure what you're getting at there, friend. Just just making conversation. Why don't you talk to Soldar and Yev Yevgeny yourself? I think I'll do just that. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to give him 25 because I want him to keep his fucking mouth shut. <laughs> mark it off your sheet. I'm just going to steal it back. I know. I'm just saying mark it. Uh, I'm just being serious. I'm just saying mark it down that we lost it. Sure. I don't think I have the money tally. Like. Fine. I'll do it. 
Look, if you want me to keep track of the money. No, no, it's really, no, that's not a big deal. Okay. Okay. okay, cool. I marked it down. All right, let's go up. Um, who's who's going to keep watch on Pharaoh? And who's uh, going to get the first round of ales? You I get nothing. Say... You're enough of a problematic party guest tonight. You get no so, help. Um, I'm going to have... Erdin, can you walk... Erdin and his marks for their rooms? Sure. Okay, yeah. cool. And then... Emerald. You want them in one of the, the two-bed ones? One of the twos, yeah. And then... Emerald can take first Pharaoh watch. Me and Erd and Korov will go try to find a silver weapon and maybe a way to cure him. Man, I don't I care about cure. I want to keep him tied down for a night. I have rope. Ropes? No, I don't know that rope's going to do it. That's my Emerald key. probably has a hold person spell. I, I, have a hold, I have a hold per I have a hold person spell, but it doesn't last all night. How long can it last? Ten minutes. Kind of bull. You guys think enough rope probably will be fine. Hey! Hi, sorry. I'm no really worries. Sorry. What you missed is um, after the fight from last time, uh, Ismark was looking at you like, what the fuck, but didn't say anything. Uh, you, you, you guys like it. made it to Valakai. You made it just before they were locking the front gates as the sun is going down. Um, and uh, what other thing is not character knowledge? Otto, Otto doesn't know that Pharaoh was bit by a werewolf. So we're at oh. the end. And neither does Irina. I was trying to avoid player knowledge character I'm knowledge. I'm sorry. Whatever. Should be good. Okay, I knew. I heard Bran say at the last the See? end of the last one. Whatever. Anyway, uh, so. But basically, the party has been hush hush figuring out what to do with Pharaoh without telling you or your brother. Okay, got Otto it. was super weird about it. He's like, oh my god, did he get bit? And we're like, no. It's and he was fine. like, oh good, because then we'd have to kill him. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. got it. <coughs> Sorry. I'm back up to go. Um, and so you guys made your way to the Blue Water Inn in Valakai. Um, you paid an exorbitant amount of money to bump the other guests so you could get all the rooms, because there's only three rooms. Um, we suck. Uh, you and your brother will have one room that has two beds. Uh, the other two rooms are a two-bed and a four-bed room, and they were just dividing them up now, I think. Okay. We said Pharaoh and Emeril are going to go in the other two-bed room, because Emeril no. is going to watch Pharaoh. Oh, yeah, and then we'll take watches. And then the three of you will take the four-bed room. Yeah. I am going to set my invisible bird to keep an eye on the innkeeper and try to figure out where he keeps his money. Word. And then I'm going to go back down and approach the wolf hunt. I'm going to buy drinks and take them over to the wolf hunters. So um, how much attention are you paying? Because I know you can like look through your bird's eyes. So, right. So I looked into that. And, and I, it's a, basically an action for me to look through my bird's eyes and, like, the advantage I have over a normal familiar is I can do that anywhere in the world rather than within, like, 100 feet. But you have to focus on it? I have to focus on it. The other thing, though, is I can communicate telepathically with it. So the way I've been thinking this will work is if the bird sees something interesting, it will call to me, and then I will go look at it. Okay. Um, so you, you sit down, uh, you, you, you grab your ale, and you head over, and you sit down with uh, Soldar and Yevgeny. Um... They say, ah, a visitor. Welcome, friend. Friends, I hear you are the two men responsible for keeping this town in peace and prosperity. Yes. Is that we true? We kill Wolf. The big guy, Soldar, points. At one of the the Soldar's the big guy, Yevgeny's the little mousy guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad they fit a type. I, I respect that. I don't. And he says, yeah, we, uh, we got that one a couple years back. He was... You know, bringing off, you know, killing lamb, you know, killing livestock, and well, it was when they started getting towards the the children that we knew we had to act, and we we brought them down and mounted it up. Oh, the children! That's awful. All oh, you two oh, are heroes. That's yes, he's quite sad, and you see like a tear. <laughs> How do you do it? I, I've, I, God forbid, I've never seen one myself, but I've heard they're just vicious monsters. Oh, they're, they're rough fights. You know, you gotta... The, the thing about wolves here, that, you know, they're not just like animals, like other animals you find in the forest. They're, they're intelligent. They've got tactics. They work in packs. And Strahd himself will instruct them sometimes. 
It's in- like you're about to start talking about strategery. Intelligent, you say? Wait, but but how is that? They're just animals, aren't they? Oh no, they're they're more than just animals. They're awakened. Awakened? Oh wow, that's that's terrible. Um, what what about what about men? What about werewolves? I've heard I've heard of monsters that. The men that transform into... Is that, can such a thing be possible? Soldar, the big guy, his eyes. And they and Yevgeny says, I've heard stories, and I've seen a few myself. But here's my advice to you, friend. If you think you see a werewolf, run the other way. Oh, I would. That's, that's not for the likes of me. A simple cloth merchant like myself would never dream of... Oh, I shudder to think of it. But what does someone do? Like, you you two are strong, well-trained men. If you were to find one, what, what would you do? Who would keep the town safe? Well, the first thing's first is you got to have a silvered blade. And he, he slides, he reaches on his back, and he slides out his sword, and you can see that it's, it's oh, that's silver. He says, Anything less than that, and he slides it back. Anything less than that won't even hurt him. Soldar says, duh. <laughs> oh, hi, Lily. And he says, silvered. And he pulls an arrow out of his quiver, and you see that the, the tips are silvered. And he slides it back. Interesting. interesting. What are you looking for? I can help. All right. What, what about a cure? Is it possible to save these men, or are they, are they doomed? No. I ain't never heard of a way. Soldar says, I have heard of one way. And, like, Yevgeny turns. He's surprised, too. <laughs> Soldar says, You need cleric. cleric. Powerful cleric. Cleric can remove curse. <laughs> Yevgeny says, turns to Soldar and says, Learn something new every day. <laughs> My friends, I want to thank you for your brave, good work on behalf of this town. I have the utmost respect for what you do. Of course, anytime. Let us know if you hear about anything. Oh, I would, friend. It's it's not for me to handle. I don't want to slip back upstairs. Cheers. Cheers. Faden, if you want a silver sword, I know you can get one. <laughs> Until you've made very good friends with these You might not like it. <laughs> um, great, do you know a shop? It's not exactly a shop. It's just one man. And he might not be selling it. <laughs> oh, then I'd rather go to a shop for now. Oh, so boring. Did it look really nice? It was beautiful. Stunning weapon. I'll think about it. What, what's one human life, really, compared to a weapon like that? Um, depends on the. Well, like stealing is obviously killing him. There's no well, other way. I mean, get that sword. True. We could just steal it. See, that's a compromise. I like that. <laughs> this is a meeting of the minds. We <laughs> should tie Pharaoh up. <laughs> Wait, no, no, not we yet. We already did that. Pharaoh, uh, you guys no, noticed that Pharaoh, his, his arms no, have gotten a lot hairier and Jake. his fingernails are growing longer. Jake, Emerald went upstairs with Pharaoh right away. Okay, and so Emerald tied him up with the rope around the bed. Yeah, I gave Wait, him my rope. First, did he get me a drink? I really want a drink for this. I have a feeling. <laughs> he it's rolls his eyes and he shouts. He, he he opens the door and he shouts, you know, shouts down to one of you guys with this down there. Can you bring me an ale? Pharaoh needs a. Look at that. He needs Do a. You have like an old cask you were about to throw out that you could just pour me off the dregs of. <laughs> so that, yeah, and he he goes over to the barrel and it's by the door and he, he tips it up and like pours some really like a lot of sediment, you know, like thick. A lot of sediment. Thick Perfect. and That's chunky. Exactly. That is how my friend loves it. Thank you, my good man. All right. <laughs> I'll bring the air up to Pharaoh and also say, Pharaoh, according to the not too bright men downstairs. You might be able to cure yourself. If you can purge yourself of a curse, that might save you. 
I don't think that I can do that. Well, then we're going to have to cut your head off. It's just the way it is. Well, if, if, we'll I can, if I can cleric. do it, then somebody else can do it. We, we'll, we just have to find them. Where does one find of the powerful clerics? Probably temples? Irina? Where? Where? I don't know. I'm new here. They're Regardless, in another bedroom. Yeah, I'm Irina and Otto are in the other bedroom. Yeah, in Irina and his are in the other room and don't know about the whole werewolf thing. Right, right, right. All right, let's keep him tied up for tonight. In the morning, we can find a clerk. Yeah, we're, we're taking watches. So I thought that I wasn't there while you were talking to the two Russian guys. You were not. Yeah, we weren't. No, I'm saying, like, I was planning to be, like, gone on the town to look for stuff. Cool. Okay. Are you with me, Arden, or no? Well, I brought them up to their rooms, but after that, sure. Yeah, because, like, cool. that takes, like, a second. Yeah, I figured that somebody would go with All right, me. cool. Let's, meanwhile, over to Theo and Arden. Cool. We look for that shop you mentioned. So, let's see. Curio. Did you look like Bellatrix right now? Dude, Aww. I can't get my hair out of my face, and it's really aggravating. And I don't have my freaking hair tie. Give me just a minute. I have the hair as a hair tie. I don't know how girls do that. Use your own hair as a hair tie? No. It sounds difficult. No. Too advanced. So you guys head towards the center of town. Yeah, I just want to know what all the different shops are. Well, I mean, in the town square, um, you see... Um, there's various shops and homes enclosing the town square. Um, they're decorated with limp, tattered garlands and painted wooden boxes filled with tiny dead flowers. Um, at the north end of the square stands a row of stocks, locked in which are several men, women, and children wearing crude plaster donkey heads. Uh, in the center of the square, peasants in patchwork clothes eye you suspiciously as they use cups and vases to draw water from a crumbling stone fountain. Standing tall at the center of the fountain is a gray statue of an impressive man facing west. All around the square are posted proclamations. Come one, come all, to the greatest celebration of the year, the Wolf's Head Jamboree. Attendance and children required. Pikes will be provided. All will be well. Signed, The Baron. Um, can I ask a person in town, like, who is that statue of? I'm assuming I don't recognize it. Uh, you turn by and someone looks up and says, I don't know, Burgomaster's granddad, maybe? Can I ask the same very knowledgeable person why there are people with donkey heads on in stocks? Uh, and he says, oh, not from here? Mm-mm. Nah. Burgermaster arrested them for malicious unhappiness. Guess they really made asses of themselves, Just huh? Don't let the guards see you criticize this festival. Just, you'll be fine. I've got to go. Thanks for the tip, friend. I liked your joke. It was legit. Gosh, I love the Wolf's Head Festival. It's the best time of year. I always look forward and to it. And he goes back and says the Wolf's Head Festival was last week. They haven't replaced the signs. Oh. Cool. <laughs> okay. This place sucks. That is kind of a joke. They're both subtle like a blacksmith's hammer to the face. Yeah. Anyways, so shops. Shops. Yeah, so there's a there's a shop called uh, Blinsky's Toys. There's like a, you know, a general store. There's a coffin Wait, maker the, shop. The Burgermaster allows toys. Burgermeister Meister Burger? He's breaking his own law. <laughs> Different Burgermaster. Not possible. Okay. Not Burgermeister Meister Burger. Burgermeister Meister Burger. Come on, Jake. Get together. <laughs> Anyways, um, you said there's a coffin maker, and then what, what else? Uh, a general store, a coffin maker, and a toy store. That's it? Um, and fine, I'll give you a, a place that sells weapons and armor. No curio shop? Okay, well, the toy first, store is like, much more important. I'm going to go to the general store first. I'm going to the toy store. Fine, I'll go to the general store. Dude, that's so Amos to go in there. Come on. First of all, how dare you? We were playing with toys way before him. True. He copied us. True. When you put it like that, that makes a lot of sense. We can go in the toy store first. All right, Jake, we're going to the toy store. They probably closed earlier, too. True. 
Jake. What? We're going in the toy store. All right. Tell us about it. Cool. So Haunted this cramped USA. shop has a dark entrance portico, above which hangs a wooden wooden sign shaped like a rocking horse with a B engraved on both sides. Flanking the entrance are two arched lead-framed windows. Through the dirty glass, you see jumbled displays of toys and hanging placards bearing the slogan, Is No Fun, Is No Blinsky. Can we go in or is it closed? Yeah, you can go in. Yeah, we go in. Cool. You see uh, the place is, is uh, crowded with toys and things and marionettes hanging and you sort of have to move around not to like knock them over. Um, and uh, at the, uh, uh, on the other side of a counter, you know, tapping away with a hammer and, 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 a, and a chisel and some wood and he's shaping something. Uh, I see this big man uh, in like a jester's outfit thing. Let's see if I can get the lighting just right. What's on his... With a monkey! Oh! oh! <laughs> so cute! Okay, I have an idea. Theo, let's buy the creepiest looking doll we can find and give it to Amos for his birthday. <laughs> Pause. Good plan. Jake, are there puppets? He said uh, marionettes. Abs there are marionettes. That changes the entire place. There are lots of, of very creepy toys. So, um, Jake, there's marionettes. Those are very creepy toys. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's a, a headless doll. Yeah. Next to it is a sack of attachable heads. Yeah. Uh, there's a miniature good. gallows complete with a trap door and a weighted hanged man. Oh, it's so good. A set of wooden nesting dolls. The smaller each one gets, the older it gets until the innermost doll is a mummified corpse. Oh, that's the one. Now we give an existential crisis. That, that's the one. All right, I can stop right there. Oh no, keep reading. Oh, what are the other ones? Uh, you see a wooden string mobile of hanging bats with flapping wings. Freaking bats! I love Halloween. A wind-up musical merry-go-round with figures of snarling wolves chasing children in place of prancing horses. Okay, that's pretty good. A ventriloquist's dummy that looks. Like Strahd von Zarovich. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. That's, that's going to get you I want it. It'll be so handy. And the doll that looks remarkably like Irina. Not weird. I want to add. Okay, so I'm going to buy the mummy nesting dolls, obviously. But first, um, I'm going to ask the guy about the doll that looks like Irina and be like, this is a very nice doll. Did you make it? So, uh, this one not for sale. And he, he takes it and he pulls it off oh. the counter. And he says, he's special order. And you see he looks around for a minute and then shoves it under the counter. Huh? Uh, Everything uh, else for sale, please. Uh, he's no fun. He's no Blinsky. I agree. I, I didn't want to buy it. I was just curious. It was really finely carved. You see as he shakes and rattles like the, the bells at the end of his cap, they don't even have the, the little balls in them that make them actually ring. So they just sort of shake around. Um, you can see that cap's kind of moth-eaten, and as you get closer, it's really not great. Okay. I repeat the question, did he make the toy? Uh, I make all the toys you see here. Oh, it was just very impressive. It looks like someone I know. Uh, I would not know. I This custom order is uh, not important. Look, all these toys you can buy. I go toward the nesting dolls that have the mummy, and I'm like, this one is so great, it's perfect. Ah, yes, uh, mm, oh, what was this one? Uh, this is the wooden nesting dolls? Only nine copper piece. Very reasonable. That's like also, a copper piece per doll. Also, I want to, like, you know, twin commune with Aridan to be like, do we both notice how creepy that doll was because it looks so much like Irina? And, like, I don't know how I would twin commune this, but somehow twin commune, like, Maybe we should steal it? Don't table talk this. I'm it's trying not... to do it all with facial expressions. She was. Okay. She really was. Like, I was like this. All facial expressions, okay? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get caught. They're gonna get us all killed. Linsky rolls a nat 20 on his perception. Shut up! No, he doesn't! I would have been able to do it. 
As a yellow card, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. And he looks at you. Look, friends, doll not for sale. I, but like you say, Wait, I'm Jake, we're nasty. being silly. <laughs> you can make us roll to be sneaky. It's fine. This is nesting dolls. Eh? Nine, nine copper piece. I said it was really reasonable. Perhaps you know a little child in need of joy. Little toy for girl and boy? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I gave him nine copper pieces for the nesting dolls. We do I'm... have a cleric. I want to buy the straw doll too. That one's oh, for sale, right? Uh, his uh, ventriloquist dummy is a uh, nine silver piece. Ooh. He's larger, he takes more time to create, but he's very important. Look, uh, you make a fun of uh, Strahd. He say, ah, 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 I am a Strahd. <laughs> That's clearly that's exactly what I intended to do with I was gonna say that's obviously Aaron's plan. How much is that? Nine silver. Only nine, nine, silver. nine silver piece. Short! Less than one gold piece. Reasonable. <laughs> Alright, I accept and I buy it. I've How marked the money off of our chart. And practicing your Russian accent for this session. <laughs> Zero. I've always had a really good Russian accent that I can just go to. In fact, when I try and do other accents, they devolve into my Russian accent. <laughs> Anyways, cool. We buy the dolls. Yay. Um, this is hilarious. I'll be like, I'm are you going to be this. open tomorrow? We want to show our friends all these great toys. Yes, yes. I'm uh, cleaning up now, but um, tomorrow when sunrise. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. We are from out of town, as you can tell, and we would hate for them to miss this. Well, uh, tell your friends to come to House of Blinsky, where happiness and smiles can be bought at bargain prices. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. And we Thank you for this experience. <laughs> it was very intense. I now own a straw ventriloquist doll. I now own a... I'll see that in ten parts. Anything mummy doll set. I'm writing it down. You're gonna get disappeared by the secret police. <laughs> oh, basically, erase uh, a gold piece and give yourself a copper piece because you spent nine silver and nine copper. I already took it off the chart. We have some copper and silver. Oh, there you go. It was so worth it. Worth. Uh, when we get out of the shop, I'm gonna be like, dude. That will, like Rita doll is super creepy. It's so creepy, and I feel like someone's using it for evil magic. Because why else would you make something so creepy? Yeah, we should. We should consult with our, our group and try and figure out, like, what the fuck to do about this. By consult with the group, you mean come back tomorrow while he's distracted and steal it? I totally agree. Yes, but we should have, like, Quoros and Emerald here to help us. Word. Hashtag magic versus magic. It's gonna Maybe be not Arena, because it's kind of, it might freak her out. As you guys are leaving, you see that there is a, um... I want to find this guy's description, because the, the book describes him well. No! Uh, you might even have a picture if I can find it. Come on. Uh, just keep flipping, just keep flipping. No, he doesn't have a picture, darn. Aww. We'll use our vi vivid imaginations. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, there's a picture. There's just a bunch of random other shit behind him in the picture. Good, because I don't have He's a good imagination. He's tall, imposing brute of a man, the bald dude here. Why is he so scary, and why does his skin look gray? Uh, just because the picture's drawn in, in gray scale here. Oh. Um, and with him, you see two or three guards, and they're, he, they're going around and replacing those signs from before. Oh, the proclamations? The proclamations, yeah. And I, of course, flipped so that the old proclamation is gone, so I need to flip back again. But the new proclamation, you guys take a look at one on your way out, and you see that it says, Come one, come all, just like the other one, to the greatest celebration of the year, just like the other one, the Festival of the Blazing Sun. Attendance and children required, just like the other one. Rain or shine, all will be well, just like the other one. Signed, the Baron. Dude, Arena's probably super excited for that. Just like the other That'll be fun. Um, do I see these people putting up the signs? Yeah. Like they're close to us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you looked at one that they'd already replaced, and they're over there replacing the other one. Does it say, like, what time the festival's at? Uh, yeah. It's day after next. Cool. Sounds fun. All right. Can we go to the general store? Yeah. 
That guy looks spoopy. Don't really want to talk to him. What are you looking for at the general store? Potions and a silver weapon. They have none of the above. Great, I leave. Blacksmithery! That sounds like something for the specific store. At least you're efficient. But, like, I don't want to take up more time. Like, it's silly, I'm just getting stuff, but if they don't have what I need, then I'm, I'm going to leave. Yeah, so the then you go to the blacksmith, and you see there's someone there, and he's... Ding! Is there a blacksmith? Yeah, there's a blacksmith. Jake, can I roll to look at his form and see if it's good or bad? Yeah, yeah. What do Perception. I roll for that? Okay. Nice. So shouldn't you add your proficiency, though? Because this is our profession. I, I am pr proficient in perception, so... Oh, there you go. Nice. His form's decent. Uh, he seems tired, like, uh, and not just, like, end of the day tired, like, long life, long boring life tired. Like, he's, like, second from the last nesting doll. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not quite mummified. <laughs> Dude, is that gonna be the new standard? Not quite the last nesting doll. <laughs> Bring yourself on this pain scale. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna describe my work days like that. You're, like, the last nesting doll today. It was so shit. And without missing a beat, he's still hammering his... How can I help you? Do you have any silvered weapons? He pauses and he goes, uh, Silvered. You buying this for the wolf hunters? Yeah. Just got. I, that, I just repaired his silver sword a couple weeks back. You know how they are. Hard on the equipment. But did what the, can you do? Did he, did he lose it? He needs a new one? I guess. I don't know. It's gonna cost him. It's 200 oh. gold pieces. How long will the order take? I mean, if you make it 220, I can push back the work I've got tomorrow and have it done by the end of the day. You'd probably find that acceptable. You got the gold? <laughs> yep. Do you? Yeah, I really do. Are you See sure it. about that, Theo? Yeah, we have a shit ton of gold, guys. It's a fuck ton of gold. Yeah, but I need something or I'll do fuck all against these enemies. Oh, maybe we can find another way around. Of course, I already wanted to... Mm. <laughs> we need to um, run those numbers by our boss, the Wolf Hunter. Why don't... Okay. Why don't we do this? I'll give you the gold now. The 220. And... You know, worst case, I'll just take it. If it's too much for him, I can take the 20 out of my pay. Sorry, what are you saying? Like, he thinks I work for this guy, right? Right. Yeah, so I'm like, why don't I just give you the 220 now? Because I don't know when he needs it by. And, like, if it's 20 over what he wanted to pay, I'll just take it out of my pay. Fine by me. Cool, I gave him the money. Okay. He says, all right, I, uh... Dude, I'm desperate. Got some silver in the back still. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll work through the night and I'll have it ready by the end of tomorrow. He so appreciates it, and so does the town. Whatever. We leave. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Like, cool. It, it doesn't seem like there's a viable way to like sneak into his workshop and do it ourselves. So. All right. I'm gonna okay, do a meanwhile. Okay. Pharaoh silently approves. Oh, unless you want to... Aridin? I was going to ask if he had rates for us to be able to use his blacksmithery for a bit and materials and just pay for the raw materials and not labor. Mm. Uh, like after you've already given him the 220? No, like before. Like I was doing this plan because I thought that there was no way for us to do it ourselves. Gotcha. I'm good with whatever, but it seems like there's not really another way for me to get a silver weapon. So I will do whatever that is, but... It's okay if that's not an option. You guys already made this deal, so we're going to move on. Oh. Okay. Sorry! It's all right. We're going to meanwhile... Vroom, Irina, you and Ismark have your own room. And you guys get in there, and the you, the Koros made the deal to get all the rooms, and you guys come on in. Um, and as soon as the door's shut, and Ismark sits down on the bed, and he says... Irina, what was that? I I don't know. I I've been, you know, attempting these little spells, and they've never worked before. But 
you somehow so you, so, uh, you lightning and he realized how lightning yeah. lightning lightning i i have no idea it just i've i've been praying and it just it just happened it's just weird, but i at least we've made it to valakai everything everything will be fine tomorrow we can we can talk with the burgomaster we can get everything resolved and we can get you settled and then i can Go do burgomaster things. Duty, I guess. Whatever that is going to entail. Yeah. But 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 you're safe now. So this, you you saw the, the, the those gates. There's no way Strahd can break through those that iron and wood. Right. I'll be fine. Thank you, brother. <laughs> everything's everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> He's out. <laughs> All right. Long day. <laughs> He's kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, he's super tired. I'm getting punched in the face. Like, yeah, I'm doing <laughs> Cool. Anything else you want to do? Um, no, they're all out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just go to bed. Well, they're not all out, right? Koros is still around, um, but Pharaoh and Emerald have already, like, went to bed early, and right, Theo and right. Aridin went off out on the town. Well, I think considering I uh, summoned lightning for their first time, I'm probably going to end up passing out, too. <laughs> cool. All right. Pharaoh. Hmm. In the night, as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, you feel yourself transform. Does it hurt? It hurts like hell. Oh, God. Especially because you're tied down, because you're not transforming into a humanoid form but into a wolf form um as as a lycanthrope uh there are there are three forms you can maintain your standard human form a uh hybrid form which is like the you know classic werewolf that we see in you know horror movies and like a pure wolf form uh and tonight it appears your body is moving into that pure wolf form um and you were still held strapped down to the bed but uh you, you feel yourself receding and sort of into the back of your mind as you're a passive observer as to what's going on. And you see that this wolf form is, is, is twisting and snapping and biting and, and even hurting itself, trying to get out of these, of these bonds. Um, but uh, Emeril is there. He's, he's made sure the bonds are tight. Every time it looks like you might get out, he thwacks you with the flat of his blade, the scimitar. <laughs> That he pulls out and he, and he whips you and to stop you from biting down onto the the ropes and breaking them. Um, uh, but it's rough. It's snarl and rage a lot. Mm -hmm. Where's Sophros? Where is she? Where is she? <gasps> Where is Rachel? All right, uh, Theo, Aridin, Koros. Anything else before y'all go to bed? Did I even figure out where the Cuba keeps his money? Oh, so actually, um, you're, when you finish your conversation with uh, Soldar and Yevgeny and you head up back upstairs uh, and you give Pharaoh his ale, which this is before he transforms, so he goes, oh great, I got, you want to pour it for me? And then, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's dump it on his face. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, your, 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 your raven pings you. And you, you, you go in, you look through its eyes, and it's because you see that the bartender is looking straight at the raven. <sighs> Fuck. I'm not going to deal with that. All right. I'm going to send a mess. I can, I, can, I can communicate with the raven. Move a little bit. Fly two feet over. Yeah, and the raven, it jumps to, like, the other rafter. And he, he goes back down and he, you know, he's cleaning a glass or something. Comes back up and he looks and he looks right at the new spot, right where the raven is. All right. Come on back. This guy's got some shit going on. Let's try to get out of here without killing anyone if we can. Damn it. I'm going to steal his money. <laughs> he raven uh, yeah, flies I'll back the up raven. to the balcony. Right. You yeah. open your door, he flies in, you close it. <laughs> At least 
At least it's an invisible raven. Right? Except that some asshole can see him. Right. Kitty. Alright, that's all. I'm gonna go. She's so funny because she wants to be picked up, but then she doesn't like to hang out because I'm at my desk. I can't move because I'm hardwired, Jake. Oh. Yeah, I know. Or I go sit on the sofa with her. <laughs> she on the desk now. Yeah, but she won't stay. She didn't like it up here. Maybe. Cool. So, Theo, Erdin, you guys make it back to the inn. Uh, there's still some folks around drinking ale and telling tales, but it, it seems to have quieted down. We want to, I mean, I want to go help Emeril. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can go. It's been, you know, like an hour or two, so you, one of you guys can go relieve Emeril. Um, and you guys can take your shifts through the night, and, and it's it's rough. Uh, this wolf is smell bad? biting and snapping. And is there anything we can use to like calm him? Uh, what do you want to try? I don't know, like herbs or shit. I'm gonna roll... sing a song. I'm gonna roll medicine, which always goes well. Nat twenty. <laughs> a nat 19. nineteen because. <laughs> Um, I mean, you think that, like, the, there's some herbs that you maybe you'd mash up that, like, you know, your mother gave you when you were sick and they're, like, calming, you know, that sort of thing, that maybe that would help. But you're not sure how you would feed those to the wolf without him biting your arm off. I mean, we could burn them and, like, That's wave it under his nose. Yeah, you could, you could form an incense. Um, but I have to get the herbs. Yeah. Can I go downstairs and ask the guy if he has some of them? I um, mean, when you say the name of the herbs, he's like, well, I've got the one. He's actually, because it's, it's in the pie. And he pulls it out, and he's got a couple leaves of that one. But <laughs> the other, I, I mean, you'd, you'd have to go out into the woods and, and look for that. And I wouldn't recommend doing that at this time of night, even if you could get out of the city gates. What about, like, mint leaves or juniper? I mean... I just name random things. Like, I'm not. I got some mint. And he pulls Great, it out. thanks. This is for Emerald's breath, right? Yeah. Thank you, Fran. So you take it upstairs and you burn it. and um, It seems to have some effect. But anytime you get anywhere near the wolf, he's biting and snapping again. He's a real jerk. Aridin should sing a song. Nah, 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 the the herbs were full. No, if only Dirk were here. No, we feel really bad. We'll uh, we'll sing like a little lullaby. A wolf me ma, me pa. <laughs> ah, Dirk. Me what? Speaking of Dirk, no one knows oh. where his body is right now. Did it not come through oh. the? You guys weren't carrying it. Remember, you left Salik with it. Yeah, back in the other universe. Back at the ba at the base of the castle. I'm sure they're fine. We saw that the universe was fine. Like, Red Lark got okay and everything. I wasn't worried You about don't it. recall in those visions seeing Salik or Dirk. Oh. Do we think that they, you know... Perhaps. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Spoopy. I'm more worried about my mother. Oh, wait. No, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what was that? Ah. Did the wolves just say something? Huh. Um, well, wolves don't talk. So yeah, lullaby oh, plus when, herbs, great hey, night. Theo. Hey, Theo. Yeah. When Pharaoh, you know, isn't this anymore, we should ask him to see if, if he can locate or do something with uh, Dirk and Sleek, because we don't know what happened to them. Sounds like a good plan. Jake B is going in her tree. Oh. She's in crazy cat mode. Emerald, do you think that's a good plan? Can you help? Yeah, Emerald. What can you do for your country? Emerald says, I need to rest, because dealing with Pharaoh has taken a lot out of me. Okay, you do that. Freaking Emerald. Jason Isaacs, am I right? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, I mean, we'll just do that throughout the night, then. 
cool. Are you guys not sleeping? I'm I mean, we can take turns. No, we're taking turns. Awake at a time. I'm not throw a scream. I don't care. Cool. Uh, we're, we're taking shifts, and Emerald doesn't need to sleep as much as us. Uh, Irina, can I get a uh, perception roll? Oh yes, that sounds great. That's <laughs> always good. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing at all, right? <laughs> Oh, well, retirement really sounds like a fun thing that can only lead to more fun things. Yeah, of course. You know what? That guy is his tail. Yeah. So cute. How do I do a perception roll again? Uh, it's on click your the skills. perception button on your skills. Just click the word perception. Oh, right. Thank you. God. Where is it? Skills. It's on the core page. And yeah. Make sure your drop down is set to Irina and not Nicole. Uh, should be. Cool. Although Nicole is technically rolling perception right now. <laughs> if I can find the damn button. They're damn in alphabetical order on the left side. Okay, I can't. It says acrobatics, okay. animal handling, arcana, athletics, Thank deception, you. history, insight, intimidation, investigation, medicine, nature, perception. Found it. it would be weird if you had those memorized, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely had that in front of me. That's what I figured. Okay. Burning the mystique, Jake. Oh, your sheet is set up to do all of your rolls as uh, to you. whispers to me. Yeah, you need to find oh. that setting and turn it off. It's okay. I will well, with it. do that. Her roll was at um, 11. Very good. Cool. Nice. Uh, so, Irina, in the night, uh, you are awoken by... Okay. Which you hear the sound. At first, you think it's a dream because you haven't slept through a night in the last several weeks without the sound of snarling wolves and scratching uh, right. doors. Um, but then you wake up and you realize that you're hearing that for real. Okay. I'm going to sit bolt up in bed and look around. Can I tell where it's coming from? Outside, I'm assuming. Uh, no. Inside. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, on the other side of the wall. Okay, so I'm gonna... Um, can I attempt to do some... Wait, uh... we said it wasn't on the other side of the wall. We put them in the room farthest from us. There's nope, three there are two rooms, two people are right next to each other. We... Okay. Okay, so it's the... That we were the All the farthest. rooms are right next to each other. Well, whatever room Pharaoh was in was supposed to be the furthest from Irina. But it's okay. Didn't work out that way with the number of beds. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna... Um, can I creep out and try to... Speak towards the door where I hear it coming from. Yeah, give me a stealth roll. Okay. Do, do, do. It's the middle of the night. Whose shift is it? Theo, I need a perception roll. Perception disgrace. Let me see if I can set that setting for you, Nicole. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I rolled super well. Uh, dang it. Well, not super. <laughs> I'm negative one. Here we go. Never whisper rolls. Advantage toggle. Uh, I'm going to do a test click. I'm going to click on one of your things. I'm going to do that strength. Yep, that works. That was Emerald. Yeah, my drop down set to Emerald, but that was Nicole's sheet. Cool. Cool. Emerald uh, flexes in his sleep. Yeah. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> They don't hear me? Alright, cool. Yeah, no. Theo does not hear you. Okay, I'm going to... Can I open the door without him hearing me? Yeah, you're able to slowly open the door. Um, okay. And you see that Theo's Theo's back is to the door, because Theo's facing the bed that Pharaoh is in. Can Theo be playing with the nesting dolls? Theo is absolutely playing with the nesting dolls. <laughs> <laughs> and so I see Theo and everyone else asleep, and then... Uh, uh, There's not everyone else. Wolf. In this room is just Theo and a wolf tied down to the bed. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm going to uh, creep back to my room and wake up my brother. <laughs> Wolves. Thought you were cool. <laughs> he said wolves. Um, so there's, there's a wolf tied to the bed. What? And he looks at your bed and... What? Not not here. Not in this room. Um, in our... Uh, your new friend's room, in fact. He lied to me. Ooh, what? I, I must have... 
did you think one of them got bit? They they started asking me questions about werewolves, and first I thought they were saying someone got bit, but then they said that their cleric got bit. Their cleric. Yeah, that uh, what's his name? The... Uh, yeah. Rice. The. Rice. <laughs> Barley. <laughs> Fair in there. Quinoa. Well. Quinoa, I think that was his name. Quinoa. Mm, yes, I, I believe it was. <laughs> um, is there any possibility of letting him live? They have done us a kindness and a help. Can we figure out a way to cure him? I, I've never heard of anyone being cured of... There has to be a way. I, I've never heard of it either, but there must be. We can't kill him. We've got to cut off his head. You know what Dad always said about ly ly lycanthropes. You have to cut well, off the head. Dad can... He's in the ground. We can't follow Dude. what he says all the time. The truth comes out! Family feud! I... I'm the Burgomaster now. I'm supposed to make these kinds of decisions. Brother, we cannot kill him. He has helped us. <sighs> was he tied down? Yes. Did he looked like he was going to escape. Yeah. I can deal with it in the morning. He's easy to chop his head off as a human anyway. <laughs> as Mark rolls over and pulls the sheets up. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess I'm like, going to pull over and pull the sheet up, but like he's on his side, so you really like, <laughs> like one thing. Eyes popping out of his head. Yeah, like SpongeBob. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to um do that same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Nice. Classic. Cool. So are you not gonna, like, go back and... Do anything? Okay. Um... I don't think... Mm. Good. Hmm. I have, like, one more day. <laughs> no yeah, giant no. lightning storms. <laughs> Cool. So, uh, you guys make it through the night into the morning. Um, all of you who took a watch, so Theo, Aridin, Emeril, and Koros, I'm sure you took a watch over Pharaoh. Yep. Um, you're tired in the morning. You're, you didn't get a good rest because the, unlike most watches, which are calm and uneventful and relaxing, and there's sort of pause between your rest, this was tense and uh, stressful because you know that that's your friend in there. Um, and in the morning, Pharaoh, you wake up and um, you feel completely unrested. You, you've got bruises and marks all over your arms from the ropes and where you <gasps> had fought against them. I think I need a cleric. <laughs> if only we had one. Um, can you cast the Greater Restoration thing? Greater Restoration? I can do that. On yourself, so you're at least rested. Yeah, yes, of, of course, but I, I need healing. I need to do a prayer. Word. Actually, no, you know, you're, you're completely right. Greater restoration is better. I just, I just read. Lily is suggesting it, not for you. <laughs> Lily saw you do it once. Um, Theo was, I'm sure, curled up with his thumb in his mouth in the corner somewhere. Yeah, Dolls, actually. Uh, dolls beside. Farrah is going to like like set up and 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 do a greater restoration. Uh, no, 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 I'm not. That's a hundred gold. Not worth it. I'll just I'll just chill and 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 and, and be okay. <laughs> diamond dust worth at least a hundred gold pieces. Yeah. I'm not grinding up the diamond. <laughs> we it took too much to get it. Um, I'd like to get a little brain trust together that includes Emerald and Pharaoh and Koros. Uh, because they weren't there, and tell them about the creepy Irina doll that was special order and not for sale. So again, 
not Irina and Ismark? No. Okay. I, well, I don't want to freak her out. Cool. I mean, well, all right, Theo, do you think we should tell Irina and Ismark? No. That guy sucks. And I don't trust her enough yet. I do want to tell Irina about the Sun Festival, though, because I think that'll make her happy. No, yeah, probably. What, what Sun Festival? What's like, really? Sun Festival? For now, there's a creepy doll. It looks like her. Well, hold on. The if there's a Sun Festival. Sale. Maybe she can get her god to help me. I don't trust that dark lady. That's a good idea. What's she called? Night, night lady? Uh, um, lady something. The morning lord lady and night. mother night. Mother night. Okay. Yeah, no, Jake, characters aren't remembering. By the light of a loon. Loon? Yeah, the, you, the thing you're referring to is the festival of the blazing sun. Oh, clearly, that's what we, miss it. we meant, obviously. It's lit. Um. Okay. I just mostly wanted to tell Koros and Emeril about it in case they feel like doing things that we wouldn't do, like steal it. Yeah, do you think a doll that looks so much like her could be Chance? It feels really weird. Koros, what do you think? It doesn't sound like Chance. I don't know what the heck anyone would do with it. But... Can you like, roll how... arcane knowledge to see me? Not really an educated kind of guy. Do you not have arcane as I don't have arcane, no. Can I roll it? Sorry, there's no have. You you have all the skills listed. You can roll it. No, I don't have proficiency in it, fine. But it's like a plus one. Such a drop down. Whatever. Um what are you trying to determine? I don't Does know. Who do exist? Yeah. yeah. Basically like what it, he it, thinks is the doll could be used a for. Component of malicious <laughs> Uh, well, you haven't seen the doll, so you don't know about this specific doll, but you know that voodoo absolutely exists. Oh, goody. Okay. You, you should tell Otto and Arena, like, they should know about it. That's okay. creepy. And if we want to deal with it, like, we can do a little smash and grab at that toy shop. Like, I'm not going to say no. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to know. in life, you know? Knock on their door. <laughs> All right. I'm going to answer the door. Ah, good morning. <laughs> good morning! I have good news and bad news. Good news, there's a festival that I'm sure you would love. Bad news, there's a doll that looks just like you, and I think it might have delicious intent, so... Oh! Oh, that's... that's, um... disturbing. That's a um, super creepy way to wake up! <laughs> um... Do I want energy, man. No... where... where was this doll exactly? In the creepy toy shop. Ah, can I run a creepy guy with dolls in his hat? And the creepy monkey. Good, creepy monkeys. That's my favorite. Um, oh, and I got this creepy right. doll, and I'm gonna show her Strahd. <laughs> and it's a little bit of the Strahd. And then I want to run up and oh, start following the dolls. <laughs> I'm a donny. I'm Strahd. Um, is my is my brother up? Yeah, Ismark's up. He's been uh, flipping through a little his his journal and writing in it. Okay, I'm gonna say, Ismark, I'm gonna, uh, go, uh, take a peek at these dolls. Huh? What? Uh, I'll it's, yeah, whatever. Later. He's, he's busy yeah. writing. I'm gonna he's walk not, out. like, chomping at the bit to chop heads? Yeah, he's burgermeistering. I'm gonna close the door and, uh, pull you two aside for a second. Um, so, I became aware last night of a bit of a wolf situation... I really wanted you to say that quinoa is a wolf. <laughs> Zorkum is a wolf. Rice is a wolf. <laughs> Who? Um, well, last night I woke up to the sounds of scratching. Mm. Um, now, I did inform my brother. That being said, I don't think he will do anything about it. I encouraged him not to. I, um, would like to thank, not kill, the people who helped me. Funny you mention it. Aridon was just telling me that he thinks maybe your god could maybe help. Um, I have never had true contact with my god, but I would be willing to attempt it. First time for everything. That's the spirit. Uh, help with just finding a cure, or yeah. what? Um, well, we heard the, uh, from very good authority that it's possible that a cleric can do it. 
Um, I, I am not a cleric. Right, but, you know, clerics, holy god, paladin, sauce. Same idea. Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm... maybe you could, like, try to, you know, say hi, or whatever, during the blazing sun thing today. The, the fire thing? Tomorrow, right? Something. Fine, it's tomorrow. Blazing sun festival, whatever. Festival. Yeah. Oh, the, that's the festival you're speaking of. Yeah, okay. it's going to be so much fun. See, the good news is pretty good. Um... <laughs> Yes, okay. I will definitely attempt to talk to him. I don't I don't know how to go about that, to be entirely blunt. We'll look for another cleric, of course, but worth a try. Okay. Alright. Well then. So where is this doll that looks like me? It's at the toy store. Should we should we do a group outing to the toy store? Group outing, but after sausage. Can we go down to the innkeep and see if he has sausage? Lots of it. Okay. Great. This is yeah. incredibly important. Does group team, team have... breakfast, team outing. Team breakfast, team outing. Can't go out without having lots of sausage. Preferably, I would like to buy a string that is all still attached. A, and a link. It, a link, one might say. And throw it over my shoulder and be eating it as we go. Hmm. Cartoon dog style. Yeah, so... Uh, my ultimate preference. Uh, when you guys head downstairs, um, he's got bangers and mash. Great breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Uh, and you see there's another gentleman who has come down the stairs opposite your stairs. There's a different balcony with different some different rooms. Um, and he's freaking... He's really cool. Oh my god, it's old uh, Owl Eyes. Steampunk Professor? That's awesome. Steampunk Professor. Yeah, he looks really cool. Uh, classy gentleman. Yeah, he's really cool. He looks really cool. Classy gentleman. Pardon? Alright. Um I mean I'm gonna ignore that guy. And he heads down and you see he's he's he has like a, a bowl of cereal, like right? really plain breakfast. Not breakfast of champions. Now I really want cereal. Order the bangers and mash. Mm. Alright. Um after we eat our bangers and mash with some watered down ale, I'd like to inquire about purchasing an extended link of just the sausages. <laughs> Because I really want to live out this dream of okay, so the, I, as I want. What you guys are paying, you can have the whole pan. Like, all right, cool. I take the string. <laughs> Feel good. Mission accomplished. It's a successful session. Sausages. We're good. We can go. Sausages. <laughs> sausages. Sausages. Between me, Brandon, the whole game is actually about food acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> Stew bread, um, sausages, the holy trifecta. Yep. Um. No, I want stew. Okay. Um, team outing. <laughs> unless people, unless Poros or Emerald wants to talk to Fancy Fancy. No, I'm I'm good. I want to. Think this guy can see my birds, so I'd like to leave. Wait, who can see your birds? See your you have a bird? What bird? That's possible. What? what? Everything's, everything's fine. All right. Cool. Don't worry about it. Really, you don't want to talk to Fancy Fancy? No, we should leave. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go. Bye. Okay. Bye, friend. Bye. Cool. And you guys see that as you are leaving, uh, he he goes and he sets his bowl on the counter of the bar, um, and the and the the barkeep guy has already got. He pulls a plate aside that's got like a full plate of steak and eggs on it, and he grabs that. And as you guys start walking away from the inn, you see that he's also exiting the inn, and he sort of heads in a different direction from you guys, um, but he's carrying this this plate of steak and eggs. I'm gonna. Elbow Poros, yeah, and be like, send your bird. Yeah, no, I, I, I know what's up. <laughs> that guy has the so invisible much. bird. Make it follow. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm <laughs> feeling very jealous. Bird? Why don't you just kill the whole town? <laughs> I'm feeling very jealous. I'm like, I didn't even know there was steak on the menu. I didn't get offered steak. <laughs> he has an invisible bird, so he says. Um, okay. Can we let so him think cool. he has the bird. <laughs> I think he's a bit off, yeah. It's useful. Yeah. Bunch oh, of mini shadow bullets for the old noggin. <laughs> Do you remember the time we stole a ship? Yeah, it went terribly. I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. <laughs> and we didn't steal it. We gave it to some nice townspeople. It's true. Alright, anyways. Go. We go to the creepy toy shop. Bloop, bloop. Blitz, mm -hmm. So... Uh, as you guys head off to the computer shop, 
you see that this gentleman has actually beat you there, and you, your raven notices that he took a different path that actually turned out to be some shortcuts through some alleys, and uh, as you, get, you guys enter the town square, you see him entering the front door of the toy shop. Oh my god. I bet um, he's the custom orderer. I'm gonna sell Koros to be like, have your bird keep watch on the door. If he leaves with the doll, we need to know. I'm actually gonna go, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna duck around the corner. They can't see. I'm gonna disguise myself as someone else. Just I'm gonna look like a regular townsperson. Um, with my my I have disguised self. Um, and then I'm gonna walk in and I'm gonna just sort of like pretend to be browsing toys while I try to listen to him. Cool. And, then, and, and we'll take our time. We'll like meander and wait to get there. And you see, and you make it, and they're not too far behind him. And. You see, he, he, he's come in. He, you see, he was looking at toys for a while, but he comes over to the front, and he sets the steak and eggs plate down, and he says, Blinsky? And Blinsky says, Rictavio, good to see you. And, uh, Octavio? Yeah, Rictavio. Oh, Rectavio? R-I-C-T-A-V-I-O. R-I-C. No way that's a real name. I thought it was Octavio, and I was like, are there eight of him? Rictavio. Right. Uh, and uh, Blinsky pulls out a small, dirty plate, and uh, Octavio pushes the eggs, but not the steak, onto the small plate. And uh, Blinsky pulls out a, like a withered old fork and knife and starts eating the eggs. Um, and he says, uh, and Octavio says, uh, "See you in a bit." And uh, Blinsky says, "Da." And uh, Octavio goes around the back around the, the the counter and through the back and into a back room. Where's your bird right now? I guess with me. With like you, okay, my... cool. Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to, is the door open? Like is there, is there a... The door to the front or the door to the back? Yeah. Door to the front. Door to the front, yeah, it's propped open. All right, I'm gonna f have the bird fly out and I can talk through the bird as part of his voice, the chain master thing. And I'm going to tell, like, I guess Theo and Aridin that, that the guy went into the back and they should maybe try to, like, circle around the building and keep an eye out for him. What's the range on your mind thing? I think it's, like, the forever. Um, cool. But also, we are approaching, but we were just going a little slow. I mean, it's either forever or it's, like, 30 feet, and I kind of assume they're in the alley off to the side. That's fine. I just You're using the, the, the bird to do the talking, so it's creepier, but... Right. Mm -hmm. Let me... Sorry, I'm, I, I don't know my player's handbook is, so I'm looking for, like, an online you thing. You look that up while I'll, while I'll move on. Okay. Um, um, so the bird comes out, and in Koros' voice says, Go around the back. Yeah, no, he told us the information. Like, the guy went in the back trying to yeah. follow around. And I'm going to tell Aridin, like, you and Pharaoh go around the back. I'm going to stay with Irina. Sounds yeah. good. I don't like when Quarles' bird talks, though. No. Hey, be nice to my bird. Jake, you know my really nice hat? Yeah. I'm going to make Irina wear it. Oh, Theo okay. Thinks this is a great disguise. And we'll prevent a beautiful disguise. Let me just, I don't have from any recognizing you as the doll. So we lost the whole plane, Jake. Cool. What about your, your mind speaking to the team? Uh, that's not as long. That's like that's pretty close. I think. Let me. Cool. Yeah, that's that one's thirty feet. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> That's been a really great hat. It's <laughs> great. Cool. So, Theo, you plop your big hat with the feather and everything on Irina's head. Aridin and Pharaoh, you guys go down the alley, and as you come out the far side of the alley, you see um, you just catch the back door of the toy store swinging shut, and you see Rictavio, Rictavio, however I want to say his name, uh, heading down the alley. Um, Should we follow him, Pharaoh? Yeah, I, I think so. See if he has the thing. Actually, one sec. Um, oh, never mind. Don't have it prepared. Hi, sweetheart. Come here. Yeah, let's follow him. Okay. Sneak follow. Cool. I need a stealth roll from the two of you. Hey. 
The snake. Good enough. Uh, actually, let me roll his perception, but you know. No! Cool, you're all good. Um, so he heads off through the alleyways and he eventually comes off to a large stockyard that has several sheds along its periphery and lies adjacent to a roomy warehouse. There's a wooden sign above the front gate that reads, Arasek Stockyard. Packed at the south end, sorry, parked at the south end of the stockyard is a sturdy carnival wagon, its colorful paint peeling off. Faded lettering on its side spells out the words, Rictavio's Carnival of Wonders. A heavy mean, padlock secures the back door. You mean Rictavio. Rictavio. Liviosa. Not Liviosa. Um, and you guys, you're, you're sort of, you know, going around the edge of the stockyard because you see Rictavio uh, make his way in, and he actually he goes to the to the up to the cart. On the side, there's some like indentations, like a ladder, and he actually he he starts climbing up them. Uh, carefully with the plate with the steak on it um, he seems quite nimble for his age um, deceptively so because when you saw him he was carrying a cane previously um, the cane is now hanging from his belt he climbs up to the top of the cart uh, he slides open a hatch in the top of it and he flops the, the steak he flips the plate over and flops the steak into the cart do we hear eating noises? Uh, hard to tell from this distance. Come here, B. That steak looks really good right now. And what do you think he's feeding? I don't know. Other werewolf player. Carnival of Wonders, though, so it's probably a wonder. Quite wondrous. Um, Why so did he have to go to the toy store to come here? I don't know. Do you think he has that? That uh, I mean, if he has the doll, that would be why. But I, but I don't know why he would go in there. Before it doesn't look like he's carrying thing. anything, like a bag or anything, right? He just had the eggs in one hand. Jake, plate with the steak, the eggs he gave to. That's Blinsky. what I meant. Sorry, that's what I meant. Um, and his cane hanging off his belt. Uh, otherwise, you don't see a doll or anything like that. Hmm. And where does he go after he dumps the steak in? Uh. He uh, balances the. He sets the plate down on the top of the thing. He climbs back down, and then he, you know, pulls the plate off. Um, and uh, he starts walking back the way he came, okay. which is where we are. You guys are off to the side a bit because you right. sort of went around the edge of the, the the fence around the stockyard. Let's wait then. Check out that thing. And eventually, so he heads off wins. in a direction. He's left the stockyard. Cool. Yeah, Farrah wants to like look up, like go up and look around while he's moving, make sure nobody's watching, and peer up into that, like you know. Hello. Keep your fingers back. Sorry, into the you. Sorry, you're gonna pause. Into the box. You are way outside of the stockyard. You're gonna go all the way up. Yeah. To the. Is it empty? Cool. No, no. The stockyard. The stockyard. Yeah, there's stuff, some stuff around, but like no, most I mean, of the stuff is probably in the sheds of the warehouse. But no are there people? people around? No, no people around. Then yeah, let's yeah. go. Cool. Sorry, you just you were like already on top of it and peering in. And I was like, hold on. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. I don't think I realized how, how long it was, but yeah, that's yeah, it's kind of far. Um, you had to be far enough away that Rick Tavio didn't like suddenly see you when he turned around, right? Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Cool. So, uh, as you guys get close, the wagon suddenly lurches as if something big has thrown itself against the inside wall. <sighs> you hear the cracking of wood, the scraping of metal, and the snarl of something inhuman. Upon closer inspection, you see that the sides of the wagon are splattered with dry blood. You also see an inscription on the wagon's doorframe that reads, I bring you from shadow into light, and shadow and light are capitalized. He's keeping some foul beast in here, and there's blood all over, and it doesn't look like it's just steak juice. Hmm. Weird. But I can't see what it is exactly. It's not. I can't tell if it's a werewolf or something. Are you gonna climb I'm, I'm up under the top? I'm just. This, you you just walked up next to it and it lurched. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, 
yeah, then I'll climb up, like, and I'll be careful with my fingers um, and, and try to look in. You're gonna I'm, slide I'm that to top hatch open. Just, just a bit, just a little bit for a little bit. Much. Uh, and the light just comes in, and you can see uh, some fur, light-colored fur, not dark like uh, matted like werewolf fur, but a sort of a light, a lighter, more yellowish color of fur, and as you slide it open a bit further, you can see uh, some darker stripes in this fur. Are you going to slide it all the way open? Um, how far down is it to this thing? Uh, just a couple feet. Just a couple feet? It's, Aaron, it's, help, me, help me brace it's this. Not a, it's not an enormous cart. Uh, let me try and get the glare out of this picture. Hmm. No, I can't get the glare off. But. Dude, if only we had Theo and some sausages to throw to distract it. <laughs> I do want to um to pull it off all the way, but I want Aridin's help. I don't want yeah, to I'll help. It's I'll like help. maybe eight to... feet to the floor of the cart from where you are. I'll get ready oh. to slam it shut. If yeah, need. exactly. Super ready. So, Aridin, you're going to climb up too and be ready to... I'll be I'll be on top of the hatch with like... On the other side of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I can very quickly brace it. Uh, and so Pharaoh, you, so Erdin, you're gonna pull it back and slide it the rest of the way open as Pharaoh peeks in, and Pharaoh, you see a giant saber-toothed tiger that leaps up and snaps at you. Ah! Shut it! <laughs> Get it closed! Don't let it out, the demon! Slam it shut. <sighs> Hopefully fast enough for Pharaoh saw a face. In addition, you notice that um, the, the saber-toothed tiger is clad in, in specially fitted half-plate armor. Interesting. Well it, uh, well, it looks like just a tiger to me. I don't think it's some were-beast. At least. Should we check this out later when he comes back and see what he's doing here? He has to have some purpose for this tiger. Do you want to poke around some of the other boxes before we go? Yeah, but I want you to do the poking. Okay. Are there any other things that look like they're like big and important, like centerpieces so, of this dude's car? No, there's carnival? mostly sheds and, and a warehouse right around here. It looks like uh, this is this this thing is just pulled up next to these sheds in this warehouse because they've got a fence around them. Oh, okay. Okay, we can just head back then. Okay. I'm definitely not going to poke in a few more. Not if you're not going to. No one's going to take another peek. What, if the tiger? <laughs> yeah, I get in with it. I bring my wh whip and I'm Indiana Jones as a ten-year-old. <laughs> Daniel in the land or whatever it is. Checking. <laughs> master of all beasts. Cool. Beast master. Meanwhile, back at the toy store, Erdin and Pharaoh have been gone for a while. Theo and Irina, you guys have been waiting outside. Um, those those folks in the stocks with the plaster donkey heads are still there. Um, Koros, I, you're still in the shop. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to avoid attracting attention, I guess. Um, does it look like... I mean, uh, we can go in with your amazing disguise now. Um, sure. So I'll go in... And Blinsky looks up and says, Ah, oh, you've come back, and you brought friend, and... Wow, no, you brought hey, friend. It's in a hat. What? Hey, it's in a hat. You have to roll. It's a hat. You can still see it's a face. very big hat with a large feather. I feel like if you saw that hat, you would only look at the hat and not the person wearing it. His, he's, he seems to be looking curiously at Irina. You mean the hat? <laughs> no, at Irina. <laughs> All my plans. Pointless. Master disguise didn't work, I'm sorry. And you see he's looking down at something under the counter and then back up at Arena. And then down and up at Arena again. I mean, we we did tell him it looked like a friend of ours. Yeah. He's just... He he's surprised at just how much it looks together. like her. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, we just want to look around. You have so many great toys. Right, he probably thought you meant, oh, yeah, you know, like the doll's got brown hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
And we lost, we lost her. She, she was a robot for a second. Yeah, she was starting to cut out and then... Oof. We'll just wait a minute or two and see if she comes back. <laughs> um, Jake, Let's sorry I was off camera for a bit, but Bee's digging in her ear a lot. Yeah, no worries. What else is in the shop? Uh, I already named all the toys that are listed here. What do you mean? You said they were marionettes. You didn't even describe any of them. I'm <laughs> I'm not as inventive as the you know Chris Perkins who wrote this book. One of them's a wolf. There's definitely like a wolf marionette. A yep, there's a wolf marionette and a cute Gaius kitten. There is always. Oh, a... is there a lonely goat herd marionette? A what? Lonely, a lonely goat herd. Lonely, lonely goat herd. Yes. You watch Sound of Music again, man. I don't know the Nazis or the Lonely Goat Herd, so. <laughs> Feeling the test. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know about this. What? Really cute kitty. Look at him. Look at him. So precious. Can you come back here? Compete. I definitely, like, take out my little knuckle bones and I show them off to the... the toy owner and I'm like, you have anything like these? I bet you don't. They're one of a kind. They're mine. Look at them. He opens the drawer full of right. All in the toy shop? He goes, huh? uh, you mean like these? And he pulls out, it's a, it's a little dinosaur made of little bones with inscriptions on them. That is well, not exactly. They're... I could take what? your bones and make one like this. Eh... Uh, you don't have as many, though, so you'd be smaller dinosaur. I think I like them how they are, actually. Yeah, how would you roll it anyway? <laughs> like, pick up his? He says, look, and there's, a, there's like, the dinosaur's on a little base, and he pushes the button, and he goes... <laughs> and he lets go of the button, and they... And they get the little string through them, you know? Yeah, the little elasticy strings. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yay, she's back. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. All right. So what happened? Sorry. Nothing, nothing really. Goes, well, I described some toys while we were waiting. Oh, he didn't recognize me? No, he did. Sorry. He was, oh, he was looking at you and then looking at something under the counter and then looking at you and was like... He was weirded out, but I was just like, yeah, I brought my friend because we all really like toys. And then I'm going to like lead you over to like an aisle where I see Koros but in disguise. Okay. And I'm going to be like, he definitely knows that it's definitely. her. Even though I gave her the hat. The magical hat didn't work. Yeah, that was that was a great disguise. How how did he ever see through that one? I have no idea. All right, it's kind of think, ridiculous. Let's think about this. Um, he did tell you it was for a it was a they were custom for a for a customer for a private customer. We told them that. Yeah, it was reminding. They were custom. Me. Um. Uh, how smash and grab do we want to be here? Is the question. He's eating that steak, but I feel like... He's not eating steak, he's eating eggs. I'm oh, not actually a to Sorry, he's eating uh, eggs, which I feel like is weird. Are those the eggs that we saw Ravistov flew with? I don't know the guy's name. Yes, they are. Well, I at least know that they are. I guess you guys wouldn't necessarily know. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. They are. Weird. Why can't he get his own eggs? Lazy. I'm going okay. to uh, whisper to, to Aaron and I'm like, if you could distract him and I could... The, the doll's there, right? We can see it. Oh, are you, you guys, guys aren't back yet. Oh, never mind. Let me remind you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we didn't use your tool. It, it's not that's as clear that they're faded out with the new darker background, so... so that's a question. Oh, are they faded out? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. Can we see the doll? <laughs> Uh no, it's I, he was looking at something under the counter and last night. I, I told you guys that it was he had it in a drawer. I'm pretty sure we said that. Yeah. 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 Wait, can Alex and Brandon not hear us? No, they can't. Oh. I can unmute them. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Like it's fine. So you're whispering. Whispered. Go ask him about it again. Me? 
Yeah. Sorry, in, in, telepathically. Go go ask about the... See if you can get a look at the doll. Dude, I know what it looks like her. Why do you want to know what it looks like? I want, I want him to pull it out. I want it on the counter. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, Irina, come with me. Or, like, pick a toy from the shelf before we go back over to him. Okay, all right. Uh, what's around us? I don't know. There's like fans and marionettes. And... I've got a fan. <laughs> cool. You've got uh, yeah. A there's fan. a there's a there's a, a mobile with uh, what did I say? Bats, little bats that flap oh, their wings. Oh, get the little bats. It's so cute. I like bats. Bats are cool. <laughs> bats are cute. Okay. I'll grab that. Um, so we'll go up to the counter and be like, "Lo, look what she found. It's so great, right?" Ah, uh, yes, cute. the mobile with the bats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is, did, the, did your customer ever come? Eh, uh, what customer? Uh, for the doll that looks like my friend. Ah, uh, she's not to such me. a close likeness. He's in brown hair, brown hair. Uh. You're right, probably. Doll looks like any girl with brown hair. Could we see it again? I am very curious. Uh, yeah, my. If we My like private it, we customer would not be happy match. knowing that I had left it on the counter in the first place. So let's uh, let's move on. I see you have the, the Batmobile. Did you hear what I said? It was very convincing. What'd you say? I said if she likes it, maybe we'll order one. Be fun to have one. Give me a persuasion like roll. Also, Alex didn't hear me say Batmobile. Huh. Yes, she did. Oh wait, you could hear me? Yes. Oh, I. This is not how that's supposed to work. There's a bug somewhere. <laughs> fix it. Anyway, I'll have to fix right, it before I'm next week. Yeah, we just can't hear them. That's funny. Man, I rolled a six. It's almost better that way. That way, they still know what's going on, which is so it's not boring. But then Brandon doesn't forget that he's not there and start talking. <laughs> Anyways. Persuasion. Um, I rolled a six. I did really bad. So, so hmm. you could always use more business. Uh, and he says, "Fine, but uh, and he looks around and he and he sees that Koros is off in an aisle, uh, and he says, he says, "Do not go telling people about this. I don't want word to get out and then this customer to uh, not return business." No, we just think that your craftsmanship is so amazing. It's and incredible. He, we might get one that looks like her. <laughs> he slides the drawer open and he pulls it out and he sets it on the counter. Um, and Irina, it's creepy. Like it's not just like you know it's a doll with brown hair and like the right shade of skin, like like the shape of the nose and the color of the eyes. Um, and even as you look much closer, like like there's a mole on one side that's exactly where yours is. Like it's it's eerily accurate. Um, are you like wow. seeing through your bird or some shit? I, I'm I'm listening to this. I don't know. Like, like I, I guess I'm keeping sort of out of the corner of my eyes, keeping an eye on it. Now that it's on the counter, I'm going to telepathically to you two say, pretend to be stunned by this, and then I'm going to cast hypnotic pattern. Pretend to be what? Pretend to be stunned by this, and I'm going to cast hypnotic pattern. So he needs to make a wisdom. I, mean, I guess you two do as well, technically. <laughs> you make wisdom saves. Okay. And like, wow, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure he passes. What's the DC? 18. Yeah, he rolled a natural 19. What a bitch, for real? Fuck. Well, it's about to get weird in here, guys. <laughs> I still need the wisdom saves from Theo and uh, Arena. Wait, there's no verbal component to that spell. He may not have noticed. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's up to you how he reacts. <laughs> I mean, he's going to notice the twisting pattern of colors yeah, weaving through the yeah, air. He might have noticed that I cast it. <laughs> so we both don't pass, and he passes. Shit. Yep. And we're Good job. Like, wow, that's so amazing. Incredible. You guys, yeah, like it starts floating above you, and you guys are like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, he's like, what's, what's going on? And he says, you! I'm and he says, um, surprised. Piccolo, oh, get him! 
and uh, and and he and he gra- picks the monkey up off his shoulder and gives him a toss, and the monkey flies through the air and like swings through past some of the marionettes and lands on Koros's head and starts <laughs> screeching and pulling your hair. No, no screeching, no hair pulling. That's not nice. Oh dear. We're All still right. hypnotized, right? So you, you apparently you are. Yet another so, joke for Alex because I said Piccolo, get him. So. <laughs> A, it's a concentration spell, so is it doing any damage that'll break my concentration? Uh, yes. Okay. What, is it a, is it a con save? Yeah, con save. <laughs> Your concentration is broken. Irina oh. and Theo! You can, Yay! You're you guys back. You guys threw away. You're like, what? And we're, I'm going to be like, did you see that? That was really weird. And you what see, Blinsky looks angry. He has grabbed the doll and pulled it back into the drawer and has slammed the drawer shut. And as you turn, you see a monkey. And Koros is, like, trying to oh, get God. this monkey off his head. Yeah, but we're pretending not to know him. So I'm going to be like, did you see that weird thing in the air? Yeah. Did, was and that part of the, the monkey? I, I was wondering that, too. And now why is there a monkey attacking him? Very he, says, on Earth. he says, no one here leaves. And he pulls a, a, a string and the door slams shut that was previously propped open. Damn. Uh-oh. Blinsky, no friend. Do, do, do I have an action now? Like, was that his action? Yeah, go ahead. Let go? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, I'm trying to my my things. I'm trying to cast dominate person, but my things. Oh, not, it's not showing up in. Oh, at what level? Five. Yes. So he gets on the same thing. Wisdom save. I really need to get a more diverse quality of spell. Cool. Wisdom save. Uh, yeah. I can roll that. Stop rolling twenties and nineteens. That's a four. So. Ha! He is dominated. Okay. Um. <laughs> this is not going to be great because I have no way to re- like undo this memory afterwards. But I'm going to like I can take fine grained control over him by using my action. So I'm going to use my action to have him pull the doll out of the cabinet. The monkey is still in your head. You realize? <sighs> I forgot about the monkey. I mean. I have, we have actions too. Alright, so, so right. in any case, I don't have an action rack, I cast. So I guess I cast. So now I'm just being strangled by a monkey. Yep. Alright, Theo and Arena. Help! <laughs> so, he shuts the door. Wait, so did he cast the spell or not? So yeah, he pulled the string, and then Koros went abracadabra. Okay, and, and then okay. I'll do my... Get this monkey off of me! Yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna oh, be confused, because I... Does it look like something happened to Glinsky? He's 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 sort of frozen where he is. Okay, I'm gonna look at Koros, and then I'm just gonna go over and try to like take the monkey off like that, like a cat. Um, the monkey bites you. Yeah, TBH monkeys are v scary. Yeah. Three damage, right, Theo. Dude, can't I like fight it? Nope. It's a Can monkey. I try to grapple a monkey? Monkey oh, bites turn? your finger for three damage. Yeah, whatever. It bites my finger for three damage. Can I try to grapple it? Sure. Great. Okay, the rules for grapple. Just roll <laughs> uh, athletics. I roll athletics. They get to choose acrobatics or athletics. Oh my god, I rolled a three. The monkey oh, bites your finger and you're like, fuck, ow! And you're not able to grapple it. Okay, I'm going to... three gonna... is six. Irina? I'm going to use animal, uh, wait, does this work? Animal handling? Um, I have a spell, animal messenger. I was gonna see that's that different, because no, that's, that's you summon an animal. Yeah. Yeah. That's useless, okay. Mm. Animal handling would probably work. Well, well, it says, it says choose a tiny beast you can see within range. Specify a location which I must have visited, and the recipient who matches the general description, such right. as a man or woman. So can I just try that? Yeah, do it. Okay, cool. I'm going to give that a shot. 
cool. Let me uh, scroll up and read. The means of spell, you choose an, you use an animal, which is a tiny beast you can see within range. You specify a location, a recipient. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be able to leave the room. So I'm just going to tell it to uh, go over to Theo. You can pick a more distant location I, and recipient. Even though it can't leave? Okay. Um, I'm going to tell it to go to my brother. Yeah. And uh, let him know that... 25 words. Is, you say they're, they're literally your words will come out of his mouth. There is some trouble in the toy shop. Come. Cool. Um, the monkey immediately leaps off of course's head, swings off another marionette, and exits through a little teensy door above the door. A little monkey door. If you uh, will. And just goes off in a direction. I feel like Alex is making good jokes. I'm going to unmute her so that I can hear her good jokes. <laughs> See, I don't get oh, unmuted. Brandon. Okay, okay. Yes, <laughs> you do, Brandon. Oh, I said okay. just that thing from Jabba's Palace going, Ree! <laughs> 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 really that thing scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I was like, it's going to come get me. <laughs> Cool. Koros, what sort of dominating are you going to do? And how long does that uh, last? I'm sorry? How long does dominate person last? Oh, a At minute. this level, it lasts up to an hour. Is that right? No, that's a lie. It lasts up to ten minutes. No, even that's just for sixth level. I only have it at fifth level, so it's only a minute. So I have ten rounds. Lame. So, um, first of all, I'm going to have him open the drawer, pull the doll out, and hand it to me. Okay, he does that. I'm gonna hand. I'm actually, actually gonna hand the doll act off to Theo, um, and then. I mean, that's kind of my whole action. It's one action, I guess, because I have to like manipulate him. Um, I'm gonna make I guess have him. Like, can, can I tell how he closed? Are we locked in, or can we get out? Um, there are a couple other strings hanging around him. Okay. I guess we'll, I'll just start pulling strings at random so I can open the door. Things start moving in weird parts of the shop, but eventually one of them, the front door okay. opens. Um, I'm gonna be like, Irina, we're like, what did you tell the monkey? I, I told the monkey to go to my brother. Let him know you that speak there's monkey? trouble. They, apparently. This chick is weird. <laughs> There's a so, doll that looks like her. She speaks to monkeys. I don't know. That's weird. We, we have about a half minute to figure this out. That was less subtle than I wanted to be. He's going to know who we are. We may need to, like, skip town. I don't okay, even like this then. place. Let's skip town. Let's run. Let's go. Leave. And uh, as you guys exit the shop, Aridan and Pharaoh are coming around the alley back to the front of the shop. I'm going to give one last command to the guy, which is hide. I'm just going to tell that guy to hide, the idea just being that he stays in his place for the next 30 seconds. Cool. <sighs> you guys wouldn't believe what we found over there. This uh, place, okay, place. more important, the guy gave us the doll, but I'm pretty sure Koros used magic to do it, and he's going to be real mad at us. But look how creepy it is. So we better go. Ugh. I know. Is that her? Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Looks like he even could tell it was her, even though she's wearing my hat. Well, if we've got to go, then let's go. But then I'll... Ugh, that's eerily like you. We should I want to check not that go. and make sure it's not some cursed hey, item. Hey, Koros, can you distract us? I mean, so disguise us? Disguise you? <laughs> yeah, because I paid well, a lot of money to get that sword. Just put on a hat. Didn't you try that? <laughs> I put that on her and didn't work. I can maybe come back for the sword later. It's pretty important, and it's gonna be ready tonight. He did give you a, a, a work note when he, he signed a little thing when you guys gave him the money. I can only disguise myself. All right, I might send you back later, but the rest of us should leave. We should leave. Where are we gonna go? We're, we need to run back towards the, the inn and grab my brother, then we can leave. And Emerald. Can we yes. burn this doll? Um, I would That's rather so not do that. I think that. burning things with my image on them seem like a a potentially dangerous activity for me. Oh, I just thought it was creepy and we should get rid of it. But um, if you want to keep it for a while, that's still creepy, but fine. Here, you can carry it. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. I don't want you to... Add the doll to your inventory. 
<laughs> just so we know who has it. Um, yeah. And I'll be like, yeah, let's go get him and leave. Cool. So you guys get back to the inn, and you head upstairs, and Emerald's like, what's the rush? Like... Gotta leave. Enjoying but... a leisurely breakfast. Yeah, I you know, we were in a town for some hours. Ago. And Ismark's like, hold on, I, I, we're, we're, I, we're not leaving. You don't have to leave. It I was just have so to leave. much, no, 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 it was so much work to get Irina here, away from Strahd. Brother, I, we have to go. Yeah, let's keep going what, away from What did Strahd. you do? There's a doll with my image. It was, it was quinoa. That is wolfism. Good to be honest. It wasn't. He did nothing. I like blaming him for wrong. things, but this one was actually me. I screwed up. We should leave. Yeah, let's leave. Let's leave. Where else can we go? Further from Strahd. Isn't there ocean right here? Lake? We'll find a place. Uh, Mountains. L Lake Zarovich is to the north, but that's ah! not... Lake Zarovich, as in Strahd von Zarovich. Still, it's further, right? It's m maybe... Maybe the Abbey? Uh, the priest once said something about the Abbey. Priest, the they probably yes, have clerics. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea for a lot of reasons. Oh, good point. Is the Abbey in town, though? Falakai was perfect. Is the Abbey somewhere there. north? The Abbey is west. Is that back the way we came? No. It's further. Great. I'm all down yeah. with it. That's great! To the Abbey! Sounds like a good decision. You, you, you and I are going to have words, mister, he says to you, Look, Koros. Man, you want to get her away from Strahd, right? Strahd has power over pretty much everywhere. Everyone in this town is afraid of that guy. Look at this creepy doll. He still has effect here. Maybe if we go there, it's even better. Yeah, she shows him the ventriloquy doll. I don't want to look at that thing. Exactly. So we should leave to the Abbey. Fine. Yay, Abby. Ooh. We're still gonna have words, and he points at Koros. That's, you know, I, I, I probably deserve that one. That's fair. All right. Are we gonna follow the Abby Road? Where we'll leave it for tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please uh, comment on the video, message the page, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you're looking forward to. Um, my friends, uh, please message me privately uh, tonight or tomorrow morning with your rose, thorn, bud, the thing you liked, the thing you didn't like, the thing you are looking forward to. <laughs> um, and with that, we will see all of you this Thursday, actually. Um, assuming all goes well with my schedule, because I am going to be in another town, um, I'm going to try and make things work. If things, uh, we will might be at our usual time at 7. If not, we might have to push back to 8. Because um, there is an event that I'm supposed to be at 6, so we'll have to see, and it'll depend on my internet and a couple other things. So many details that I didn't need. Uh, but if all goes well, we will see you all Thursday at 7 or 8, and I'll post on the page to let people know. All right, bye-bye now. See you guys. Bye.